Peggy's fashions. Yeah. How are they evolving this season? Oh, you know what I love about Peggy's fashion this season is I feel like we've kind of, at the beginning it was very dowdy, it was very, very young, very naive, very not put together. You kind of, her sister's hand-me-downs and you have the feeling she sort of made her own clothes sometimes and, uh, which is never a good idea. And I, and then I think it kind of went this other direction where all of a sudden she was super fashionable and super cute. And, and now I feel like we've kind of, we've kind of settled down and she sort of developed her own style, her own fashion that is neither super progressive nor you know, dowdy and plain. It's just, it's who she is. And it's probably how she will dress for the rest of her life. Don's fashions haven't really changed much since the beginning of the show. Uh, whereas we've seen a lot of other people's gradually shift and gradually change. Uh, I think there are those people who find a look and stick with it. My, my father and my grandfather were both people like that. They had the same haircut for about 45 years. It did not change until the day they died. And uh, that'll probably be Don. I don't think we're going to see Don too shaggy anytime soon. Uh, you know, I'm so lucky to get to wear all these amazing costumes, and, and Janie Bryant does such a great job. I think, you know, um, I, when I first started on the show and Megan worked in the office, um, there wasn't very much yet on the page about who this person was. Um, and I think even the writers were sort of still feeling it out at that point, so uh, a costume's became kind of a starting point for me, for the character. She wore a lot of bright colors and a lot of um, with simple dresses, but but elegant and, and um, I mean, you know, elegant for the office. Right. <laughs> but uh, but as, as her character has evolved, so has her wardrobe. And now, I mean, you know, uh, we're looking at stuff that's way less practical than, than the office stuff. And, far more fashion forward. What is your take on, on your character's fashion sets up until season six? Uh, pretty conservative. I mean, you know, he's in a three-piece suit. Uh, it's funny, when we first started the show, we had these initial costume fittings, and we were going through period, early 60s suits with thin lapels and, you know, the whole kind of couple of shark skin suits, and we sent these pictures up to the office, and they said, no, 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 that's Pete Campbell. Mm. This, Roger's a three-piece suit, and I was, I was a little resistant at first, but, you know. Uh, that's just because I'm generally resistant, but it, it yeah, that's, that's so that's been his kind of go-to look. Sure. Throughout the season, throughout all the seasons, it's just the fashion's brilliant, and it's I'm very into fashion myself, so mm -hmm. it, it's been really cool because I love retro, so it, it's all been fun. Now, when you say retro, what does that mean to you? Kind of retro 60s, 70s uh -huh. style. I think is very cool. You know that youthful. Um, you know, with the the cinch waist and the petticoats and things that Betty wore maybe in like season one and two, that silhouette's not there as much anymore and she's sort of trying to fit into the politician's wife role and wear more suits and do more of a Jackie Kennedy thing than maybe Grace Kelly or, um, and I think that, um, that what, you know, there's been some fabulous things, you know, even with Betty having gained some weight, there's some, been some amazing moo moo moos and things. And, <laughs> and what can we say about Pete's fashions and his fashion evolution this season? A few new suits this year. 